everyone, welcome to Ask Leaves. It's me, Lieberman, and I got an email for you from a Lieber friend. Now, this is an incredibly long and involved email, so she thankfully included a TLDR version, and I'm gonna be using the cliff notes, but Lieber friend, know that I read the whole email and I understand your situation. TLDR, I feel like my boyfriend is growing distant from me, and I found out on my own that he is using Tinder, which hurts my feelings. No shit. Because of this and other reasons, I don't know if I'm losing him or if I'm just learning the motions of how a longer term relationship works. I'm scared to voice my concerns and tell him I found him on Tinder again because I'm scared of the potential outcome of our relationship ending. Am I just being over analytical or clingy, or do I just need to relax, or do I have a valid reason to be concerned or hurt? Am I in the wrong for feeling hurt about him being on Tinder? If I'm overreacting, what can I do to reassure myself in moments of doubt? Lieber friend, let me be very, very clear. If you and your boyfriend had had a discussion about going back on Tinder and opening things up in your relationship to spice things up, and that was something that both of you were okay with, that would be one thing. This is your boyfriend secretly going back on the same dating app that you two met on. They met on Tinder. And he's telling you that he doesn't want to spend as much time with you. Your boyfriend is looking for an out. You have every right to be upset. He is fucking up. He does not want to be with you anymore based on what he is doing. If he's doing this and trying to hold on to the relationship at the same time, that's a fuckwad. Why? Because he's not communicating with you. Because he's not talking with you. Because he did not approve this with you. Communication is the key to any relationship. And instead of communicating, he is looking for the next thing. Or at the very least, dreaming about other girls. That's fucked up. Now, in every relationship, as people grow together and get, I don't know, dare I say it, bored, sometimes they will, you know, dream about other people or fantasize or something like that. That is normal, but in a healthy relationship, it's something that you both feel and that you both talk about. At the very least, you both talk about, even if you don't both feel that way. Now, you say in this email that you're worried that because you're 30 pounds overweight, in your opinion, he wants to be with someone else and that you feel like this lack of attention is your fault. I want you to know that's not the case. The sad hard truth about relationships is no matter how pretty you are or how attractive you are or how skinny or in shape you are, nothing can stop your partner from losing interest. The thing that keeps people together is when they both talk about and are honest about those feelings, the drifting apart, and make an active effort to bring yourselves back together. This dude, from what you're telling me, is pulling away, but he's not doing anything to keep you guys together. He doesn't want you sleeping at his place, but he's not offering another alternative way to spend time together. You're always going to his place, but he's never coming to your place. There's no effort on his part to keep you guys together. That's not cool. You deserve someone who wants to be with you and is actively making you a priority in his life. This guy is not doing that. He's actively looking for other women. He is treating you poorly. He is shutting you out. I do not like this guy for you. You are too good for this shit. As always, Libra friends hang out on Saturday. Uh, at 3 p.m. Come back for that. I'm Lieberman. Send me your emails at mattliebermanofficial at gmail.com. Uh, SourceFed, SourceFed nerd, all that jazz. I love y'all. You're my Libra friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.